big tray. I'm like, I'm leaving here with something. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm from around the way. I'm leaving with something. Thanks so much for tuning into my channel. If you are a first time viewer, welcome. And if you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. So I dropped a quote today on my community page that says, the only way to get a win out of yesterday is to take two L's, learn and let go. So really quick, I just want to talk about what that quote means to me and discuss maybe some ways it could apply to everyday life and to you in your situations as well as me in mine. So when I thought about the fact that, you know, yesterday is gone, there is not much we can do about the past on our own. Um, there are things we can take to God and, you know, he is the redeemer of time. He is the redeemer of our lives and he can, you know, make something out of nothing. He can restore the years that you may have lost or he can heal broken places of things that happened in the past. But even on the note of things that may not necessarily be looked at or considered um, losses, sometimes being stuck in the past in certain ways actually robs us of some of the beauty and some of the actual value we can get from thinking about things that happened in the past. And one of the examples that came to me um, as a creative um, or even as a performer is, you know, and I think about times where um, maybe I had a public performance that was singing. And there are some times where I walked off the stage or off of the whatever platform and I felt really good about my performance or I felt really good about my vocals, my breathing, um, just how I felt if I felt free on the stage as I was moving around. Uh, but then there were other times where um, I knew it wasn't what I imagined it to be or I knew it wasn't what it should have been. Sometimes just because life, but other times because of my own preparation. Um, and then other times, um, things that I didn't know, like, oh man, you know, I shouldn't have done this, or I need to work on that, or just being in my head, or, um, you know, dealing with anxiety, stage fright, you know, habits when it came to taking care of my voice and that kind of thing. Um, when thinking back on a performance, Going into the next day or the next performance or the next task, um, the only way I can pull a win into that day from maybe a past performance is if I learn. If I learn something, what did I learn? What did I learn during that performance? Even if it was a great performance, what were some elements that made that a great performance that are things that I can repeat? things that I can have my hands in, things that I can make sure that I do in future performances. But if it was something that um, like, oh, I messed up or my breathing was terrible or, you know, whatever, you barely moved on the stage, you looked nervous, you was in your head, you know, all of those things. The only way I can pull a win into the next performance from what happened yesterday is if I learn something. And then the only way I can perform better or be more free is if I'm able to let go of yesterday, the good and the bad. You know, sometimes we can hold on to yesterday so tightly because, you know, um, for example, with our walk with God, when, when it comes to faith, you know, we remember the times where God brought us through in the past. We remember the times where God made a way for us out of no way. We remember the times where, um, it just looked like this is just, this, this ain't gonna pan out for me. <laughs> but God, you know, he did it anyway. He did it his way. You know, he surprised us with a win. Um, you know, we hold on to those places because they remind us that God is real. They re remind us that God cares for us. They remind us that um, um, his ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. He can do things in a way that we never put it together. We grow in our faith 
because we can remember what we learned about God and who he is um, in the past. So holding on to the past is not always a bad thing, but when holding on to the past becomes when holding on to the past because becomes something that um, makes us way more anxious um, in the present, or when holding it on to, on to the past um, fuels a negative inner dialogue. When holding on to the past. Um, you know, is used by yourself in your head, by, um, you know, old Slewfoot, the imp, you know, his implications from different sources, unfortunately, sometimes through other people, when um, those reminders of the past are used to keep you bound or to make, to make you feel like um, you'll, you'll never change or you'll never get better or nothing ever, nothing is ever going to happen for you. That's not pulling a win. We we can't get a win in today dwelling on crazy stuff. But we can learn from the crazy stuff so that we know like what not to take into the future. Uh, so that we remember like, oh, you know what? The last time I had such and such performance, I was super nervous. And, um, you know, it really helped me to um, make sure that I was hydrated or watch my diet or it really helped me um in times past when i i had enough rehearsal or you know when i was very focused when i stayed in prayer and i stayed off of social media or you know when i was careful about who i i let come you know in my space like whatever those things are that helped us to do well or things that um help us to center ourselves those are things that help us to win in the present day so that's, that's what I meant by that quote. Um, it, it can mean, you know, something for creative performance, but it can also, you know, mean in our lives, you know, whether it is um, sin, a failure, um, a disappointment, um, you know, just something that just didn't pan out the way we expected it to. Um, it, it has happened. It is done. It is finished in a lot of cases. And um, we we have a choice. We can drag the remnants of the, the toxins in the garbage into today and still walk around with that aroma and still walk around with um, a limited mindset because of things that have happened in the past. Or we can use those things to win today by reminding ourselves of um, what is true by um, learning, like what can I do different in the future? What should I do different in the future? Um, by remembering that God brought you from that moment into this one. So there is still purpose for you. There is still um, life for you. There is still hope for you. And um, we can release, we can let go. Um, there there are so many ways in which this is related to forgiveness, which is the next video I will be filming today. And so that will be up soon. Um, there's so much about forgiveness, even the the um, original definition of the word and the context in which it is used in the Bible, which means to let go and to release. Um, learning to do that allows us to pull a W in today. So taking the two L's, learn and let go. You can pull another win into a day and then another win into tomorrow and then another win into the next day. But we can win in the present. We can win in our hearts. We can win in our minds. We can win in our souls. We can win in our physical life by learning and letting go. Um, not only forgiving and forgetting the former things, but also um, Cass and I cares, um, you know, before the Lord. The word says that um, we should cast our cares on him because he cares for us. Um, the Bible also tells us to be anxious for nothing, but in everything with prayer, supplication, supplication and thanksgiving to let our requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard our hearts and our minds. In Christ Jesus.
And so um, peace is what stands out to me a lot about that verse, um, that the peace of God is something that um, it surpasses our understanding. So we can have peace when we let go of the things that we hold on to um, that, you know, just are beyond our ability to see all of the angles and all of the layers and, you know, all of really even maybe understand all of what happened in the past and still be in a place of processing what is happening in the present, yet still knowing that God has it. We've casted it on him. And so his peace is beyond our understanding. And so letting go, being anxious for nothing, um, being thankful, um, making requests, supplications, um, let, letting our things be known to God. When we pray in faith, believing that not only does God hear us, but that he answers when we pray according to his will, we are letting go of our cares. We are letting go of our burdens. We're not being irresponsible. We're not living in denial. We're not pretending like nothing is wrong, but we are casting those cares. So in the spiritual sense, um, taking an L, <laughs> letting go of the former things is casting those cares on Jesus because he cares for us. So I will end there. Let me know in the comments um, when you hear learn and let go. What are some things from the past for you that you can still use to experience a win, to experience victory in today if you learn and let go? Let me know in the comments below. Um, I hope this was encouraging to you because that is always my heart when I do um, videos like this. Um, to actually get them out of my head <laughs> and on this screen that you're looking at um that is my heart I, i'm often very encouraged by simple things because it's real to me because it's real to me and because um that is one of my gifts being um someone that exhorts and encourages other people um my aim is always to um, to stir you up, to um, evoke you, to think and to pray and to believe and to examine, um, but always also to um, empower you with, with tools, even if it's just a simple tip or a simple, um, I guess, an angle to consider when looking at things, um, reminders from the Word of God, uh, when it comes to um, the counseling space or even like creative care, just um, just things that I have learned or things that I have been exposed to or experienced myself that have been helpful um, to me or things that, you know, have been proven to be helpful for many others. Those are the types of things that I aim to share um, on this channel. And um, lastly, of course, to encourage, to not only stir you up, to um, get things moving again, but also to um, empower you with tools um, and to encourage you that you can do it. Whatever it is, you can do it. Um, and I think my new, y'all know like, I think this happens to a lot of people, this happens to most of us. There's a particular verse, a particular passage that just is like an anchor for a person, you know, in a certain phase of life. And for me, um, you know, I've had a, a couple over the years, some that I still hold very dear. But um, for me right now, knowing that God has given me the desire and the power to do what pleases him, it means a lot to me. And I actually want to shout out um, a, a good friend of mine, a good sister in the faith that uh, shared that verse with me um, a couple of years back as one that encourages her in her work and in her ministry. And that would be Dion, Dion Hoff. You said that verse to me and it just, you know, how they say it just, I've just felt it like a, I just felt the quickening in my, in my spirit, like in the pit of my stomach. When you said the verse, I don't even remember which version that you said to me, but I remember um, going back and looking up that verse. Sure one that I have read before or heard before, but it was just something about it when you shared it with me that day. And um, it has come back to me many times 
over the past couple of years, but just in the past four, five, six months alone, um, that verse has been an anchor for me in so many ways. And so thank you. Just a reminder that, um, you know, when God illuminates something in his word to us, just simply sharing it on a platform like this can literally change someone's life or um, help them to walk through um, a tough space or um, into a space where, you know, we need to walk tall and walk strong in, in the Lord and in the power of his might. All right, so I'm going to end this video here. It was supposed to be like a quick little two, three, four minute video, but I don't know. I don't think I do those that well unless they're like short. But anyway, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and I'll be back soon with more on forgiveness. Yeah. Look for it. Do me a favor. Hit the thumbs up button on this video. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Tap the notifications bell so that you will be notified every time I release a new video. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.